Well, hi. I know that there's um, thousands, thousands, and I know because I've been looking at hundreds of them, uh, cool instructional YouTubes on towing travel trailers because I've really, really wanted to take my son and get out into the world. And uh, we both have our COVID vaccines and we've been uh, pretty much in uh, self-imposed isolation, right? For 14 months and I've been just, and I'm, I'm used to traveling, you know, over 150 days a year all over the world. So being home for 14 months has been a really uh, uh, surreal experience. Very, very creatively productive, but uh, just surreal. And I, I, I just miss being out in the world. But I'm not ready yet to uh, get out into hotels or airplanes. So um, I saw I saw that movie. I think it's Nomad. It's such a cool movie. It's just, uh, and I said, you know what? I, I'd love to do that for like little two or three days at a stint. There's my son right there. So, um, I've been looking at travel trailers for a month now, and I just figured the best thing to do, since they're like $30,000 for the size I want, plus I have a minivan. And the, I was so curious because the weight capacity of a minivan for towing is 3,500 pounds, and it's about 750 pounds on the hitch, down, downward pressure on the hitch. And I knew I wanted to get a, a trailer around 2,800 pounds, but I wanted to make sure it had a shower, and a bathroom that was important to me and a kitchen and you know, how much can you fit into 20 feet, right? Well, RVShare.com, it's a win for RVShare.com. I went on to RV and I found many, many options in Houston and I picked one and Dan, the guy who rented me this, uh, this uh, Forest River pod here, really cool i wish he i'm going to encourage him to make some youtubes for us newbies it's the first time the first time i have ever um uh, rent a uh, towed a trailer or even rented a trailer i've towed i've had years and years of towing boats and towing trailers but this is a whole new ball of wax three uh, three thousand pounds about 3200 pounds probably with all of the uh, stuff we packed in it and my minivan of course now we're in texas so it's a uh, let me flip this i'm gonna switch this around here of course we're in texas so it's very flat and i had very very sl slight inclines my minivan handled it like a champ no problem but his hey, wave say hi mario Mara, this is our first voyage, our first for foray, and we're we're finding we found a great state park on a lake. On so we are a lot of kayaking and swimming, but the important thing that helped us with this was we uh, also rented the weight distribution hitch. Okay, so if you're thinking of if you have a minivan, the reason I'm doing the I, this this YouTube is that I. I just didn't, uh, I couldn't find anything. I was so nervous about towing it with a minivan. I just didn't think, I don't know if it could handle or not. Everybody has trucks. But then we get this one has a wonderful slide out and it's really, it's very, very, very easy to uh, just, you have to go really slow and really careful. And I really like the uh, outside shower that of course I left it dangling here. I'll pick it up. But the, the inside shower is really small for us big boys. So uh, this one has an outside shower you can rinse off with. And there's my co my co-star right there. All right, so it's an RP, uh, it's a Forest River uh, iPod, R-Pod, I'm thinking iPod. And it's just really cool and the campsites go. Something I learned last night, uh, for, our, for our, this is our second day, our third day here, two nights, is you have to hang your trash because last night it came out and I had it hanging from this, but, the animals got and spread it all over the place. So hang your trash. Hey, um, for you newbies like me, I'm really glad I brought my chairs and a table out here so we can, the inside is small. And we had one dinner inside, but then last night we had our new friends, Kelly and Charles that we met because Mario did a post about vacuums of America. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's doing that too. Save vacuums of America on Go, GoFundMe, he's saving his favorite vacuum store, but he's doing a uh, Lawns Across America, Mario's Lawns Across America, and you can read more about that. What we're gonna do is pick our spots based on Mario's f social media fans, and uh, if they, um, and then we had to break fire and some more, but definitely the table 
and the chairs and the fan. I'll show you the fan. This is this is inside. I know this is kind of silly that I'm doing a YouTube at being uh, th you know what um, our third day, two nights here. But I wish that when I had. I wish I had a video of someone who had just, like me, a newbie, who was very nervous about towing to kind of explain that you can do it. You just have to triple check, triple check the hitching. I wish I had brake assist. I didn't need it at all, but if I was doing any, anything longer than a two hour flat drive, I, I would definitely want to install brake assist. But the hitch was really, really important. And your van can handle it because look at, look at, there's 30, there's 30, 3,300 pounds probably total. This, and look, look at how, how much clearance I still have. It's, it's okay. See that? There's safety chain. See that? That hitch really picks it up a lot. There's got to be a good uh, eight inches, eight inches, six inches of clearance. All right, I'll show you inside. It's, it's really cool. And, ah, oh, look at that. Now, the fan was super important, and of course, the second most important thing we brought was our Ninja blender for making smoothies. Of course, our Keurig, my Keurig coffee maker. Bye. Plenty of room. You got a little view for we did made spaghetti here last night, and then we, there's two beds. This folds up to a table. We only used it one day, and we just kept the bed down because why? Why we have an outside table. The bathroom was really easy to use. I had never used a camper bathroom before, and it was super easy, and it was fine. You know, the, uh, uh, really no odor, just fine. And then uh, very comfortable, you know, plenty, just plenty of uh, storage underneath here, underneath the bed, all these. So we had, I mean, I could easily be in here. I would say I could do a, a week or two weeks, no problem. All right, well, I just wanted to tell you that if you guys have a minivan, and if you're, let me switch this around, and we're wondering if you could tow with your minivan, the answer is yes. Let me switch it. Yes, you can. Just give yourself a lot of time. Don't be in a hurry. That's my biggest learning curve, was to chill. And it took me an hour to back this bad boy out of my curving driveway. We have a long curving driveway. I know. And Mario was, he wore his safety vest and he helped me. And it was a, uh, it was just tedious as heck, but I just slowly, you think it wouldn't be that that hard. I mean, I backed tr boats out and uh, I did trail, uh, you know, other, you know, equipment trailers. But this one being so heavy, man, you think you just pull in, you just follow the same track out. It was, uh, it didn't work for me. So I'll be practicing, practicing that again tomorrow. So uh, take your time, chill, relax, enjoy. That's, this is my mantra. I'm doing this and repeating this to myself. And uh, you'll have a successful first time trip like, like Mr. Mario and I, okay? So uh, get out in the world, get vaccinated, wear your masks when appropriate and do social distance. And um, together we'll, all slowly re-engage, re-emerge, and rebuild our our lives for you know the pre-COVID lives slowly and surely we'll get there. And we're all gonna be having to heal from this uh, different degrees of PTSD, me pretty extreme with my pre-existing health conditions, but we're all gonna have our own demons to, to heal and deal with. So um Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps you guys with minivans who want to take your family out for a weekend or a, a little a voyage. State parks are awesome. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Heal. What, 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 what's my motto for this one is, um, is chill, relax, and enjoy. Don't be in a hurry. Oh, oh, and a super important thing. Don't. So you set your GPS on your phone, but don't touch your phone when you're towing that bad boy. It's, uh, you just have to be really just, don't have to be terrified, but just be really, really focused. That's, I have to keep, again, repeating to myself because that was hard for me, not reaching for my phone. Uh, certainly, you're never supposed to do it when you're driving anyways, but I would be checking coordinates and don't do that. Just set it for me and uh, 
Hopefully that'll help save you the anxiety. Just, just. Go swimming. Oh yeah, now we're gonna go swimming. He wants me to end this. Oh, let me see. If I had to, uh, two things here. Oh, okay. The important thing, if you're your first time like us, I was really, you know, excited and nervous and anxious, and he was. We were ready to go, and we we're all packed up finally. <laughs> okay, remember to lock your your doors. So that's a big question. And then the other one is. Keep track of your car keys because I lost, I misplaced my car keys when I was just getting ready to back up. There was another 45 minutes and I kept on thinking, remember Mario? Yeah. Chill and relax. Just, it'll find. And then, happen. then I, I misplaced my phone when I found my car keys. So it was a really fun hour and a half of getting myself calmed down and backing up and enjoying it. All right, guys, uh, I'm looking at your, your comments. I didn't even know that you can make comments. All right, get out in the world, stay safe. Bye, guys. Bye. Trying to remember how to do this. I didn't successfully turn it off yet. You're welcome.